Let's talk about a cool new feature that has come to our stock screener. Now remember, our screener tools are easy to find and they work for stocks, forex, and crypto. So if you are at all interested in creating, creating custom scans and custom screens, this is the place to do it. You can narrow down and find any asset based on your uh, parameters or anything that you are looking for in particular. For example, right now we have this one week percentage change and it's sorted across all US markets and it's only filtered that these are large companies with a $10 billion market cap or more. So that's uh, pretty unique because if you're a trader looking for a specific type of company, you can create something just like this and instantly look for those symbols. But there is something new here that we need to show you. First of all, we're going to reset our screener so that every single company is shown to us. So now as you can see, there are 12,686 matches. So we have the uh, American flag here. We are recording this video from New York, New York. So we're looking at any symbol that is listed in US markets. That's pretty cool. And there's a lot of information here. We can sort by all of these performance metrics. We can even click valuation and we can sort by things like market cap or price to revenue or price to earnings ratio. The choice is entirely yours. But for a moment here, let's go back to performance and now let's sort by yearly. So what are the best symbols over the last year? And now let us show you this new feature whereby we expand our mind so much more because there's a new button here that says entire world. And you know exactly what it sounds like. Click it once, click apply. You will now save your filter. We're gonna call this global screen and we're gonna click save. And now the TradingView screener is going to pull in symbols from all over the planet, 86,697 86, matches. 86,697 symbols across the world are now right in front of you. This gives you the ability to do a lot, not only for trading and investing, but for your own general curiosity and interest in what's happening in the world. So there's really no better way now to find out what's trending, what's moving, what's performing well, what isn't performing well globally than this. This is the place to be to get outside of your comfort zone and begin looking at financial markets way beyond wherever you're located. As an example, let's just say you were located in Denmark and all you did was trade stocks in Denmark. And as you can see, uh, there's 184 matches. So that's awesome. You trade stocks in Denmark, you are following uh, all of these companies in the country, but maybe, just maybe, there are a lot of things you're missing. They could be trends, new insights, new potential investments that are happening way outside the country. And now, rather than filtering country by country, although keep in mind, there's a multi-select tool up here. So if you wanted to, you could select only the countries that you're interested in and click apply. And now you'd be doing a screen. This is based on about nine countries. So you could actually do that, which is another very unique and new option to the screener. But the point is, if you really want to see what's happening globally across the world at any given time, you can quickly select entire world, let TradingView, the TradingView screener, pull in all of this information, over 86,000 companies. All of that data is coming in here does not matter what type of trader or investor you are, does not matter where you're located. If you have a TradingView account and if you have an internet connection, you can look at all 86,000 symbols around the world. And also how cool is that? This is almost a reflection of all the businesses, all the startups, all the symbols that people are listing or trading at any given moment. 
there is absolutely a lot of information here to digest. But if you get good at really sorting all of this information and understanding how you can use it to your benefit, there is a ton of global knowledge to attain. One quick way you could, for example, use this is just looking at what are the best companies globally on a year-to-date basis. For example, we have the entire world selected, and now we are sorting by year-to-date performance, and you can sit back and ask yourself, well, what are the company names that are just consistently performing the best as I scroll down? So you can see the symbol here, S-U-M-E, and then the company name, Summer Energy. So that's an energy company. Then there's CVR, Cavalier Resources. So as you just start to scroll down, you can read the company names to get a feel for what they're doing. Because oftentimes, their company name might ha say something about what they do. ADM Energy. And as you scroll down, you get the idea. And if you're interested in learning more about a company, so we're just going to keep scrolling down, and let's see, Marsh and McLennan, you know, you've never heard of that, or maybe some of you have, but we have not in this instance. You could go to Meyer PLC and click, so every symbol is clickable, and here you are. You have Meyer PLC. You can learn all about it, including the country that it's listed in. So you can start to do that really for any symbol on this list, and the other aspect of that that is quite fun and might be intellectually stimulating to you is now you can click on these symbols and learn immediately about new companies that you probably never heard of. So you can see here this is trading on the Stockholm Exchange and we can click here now to open the chart and now we've just found this company called ONCO. Let's go to a daily chart. That is a massive breakout quite interesting and now you can really begin your research to dive in and to learn even more about what this company does so for example now we can open up the uh, settings menu and scroll down here and you can see it's a pharmaceutical company how interesting is that so you've just learned about a new pharmaceutical company that trades out of stockholm and had a huge breakout recently and this is an exercise you can perform over and over and over as you learn more and more about the global economy and all of these symbols you may not have seen otherwise. And in doing so, you may find some new trends. Wow, what if, um, for example, the metals sector is, com is mostly leading the year-to-date performers globally? Or what if tech is starting to come back into the top year-to-date performers? You can then start to say to yourself, well... This is a trend I want to pay attention to. Now, remember, this also works for valuation as well. So you could even look at companies, for example, based on something like, why don't we do enterprise value? So how large these companies are. Uh, you could do market cap to see, you know, what's the what is the market cap of these companies? Remember, enterprise value does include things like cash and debt, whereas market cap is a little different. It's just the total number of shares outstanding multiplied by the price. And one quick tip when you are sorting the world globally by valuation, you're going to often see the same symbol listed over and over and over. And what this is really a reflection of is just how many times these symbols are listed globally on all of the different exchanges, meaning you can trade Apple off the NASDAQ, yes, of course, but you can also trade it in other parts of the world, and that's what all of these different Apple symbols are. It's actually just representing all the different ways you can trade Apple and pay really close attention to the currency here because you can even see this is Apple in US dollars. This is Apple in euros. And as you scroll down, you can see just how many different currencies also Apple is being traded in depending, depending on the exchange. So one last thing to keep in mind is that this exercise is fantastic for even learning more about where symbols are listed and just how popular they are globally. 
you can see Apple is listed on many different exchanges and that is pretty unique to Apple and some of the largest companies which says a lot about investor demand they don't just want these companies in one region of the world they tend to be quite global look at Tesla Tesla has truly uh, captivated uh, the mind of global markets and these are all the ways it's listed and shown here so we hope that this video has helped you understand a new powerful way to use the screener it is the entire world screener and probably the best way to use it is to get a feel for what's happening globally to learn about new companies new trends and to expand your mind way beyond the current country or market that you trade in and to really look for something new and different and even just learn more about the world what are some of these companies what are they up to and where are they based it is a very uh, eye-opening exercise and it should at some point help traders and investors of all backgrounds uh, not only learn more about the world but refine their process or trading strategy even more because this is a way to uh, uh, maybe validate or fact check or learn more about the strategy you're trying to accomplish by getting outside of that uh, comfort zone you might be in and confirming it with a more global view of what all of these people in 83,000 plus companies uh, are working on or trying to do. So thanks so much for watching and we hope that this video gets you started. The best way to learn about the screener is to dive in yourself and start practicing. You obviously can also watch any other YouTube videos that we've made about getting started with the screener. So thanks for watching and we look forward to reading your comments below.